Hey everyone, Joel Hans here, and today we're in Austin, Texas. Yes, Austin, Texas. I love Texas, and this is a beautiful day. Uh, I've spent a little bit of time in Austin now. We gotta see some sights. We gotta go to like a watering hole and all this other fun stuff. Went to the Capitol today. Anyway, but today we're at Dos Batos, which is two dudes, two dudes tacos, here again in Austin to do their Let's Taco About It challenge. So for this challenge, the challenge is actually 12 of their massive tacos. Yes, these are very, very, very large tacos. They're not traditional street tacos. 12 of their tacos and a side of their elote uh, corn, like the street corn, and then you have a drink as well. So it's actually a one sitting uh, time, there's no time limit, just like a one seating time limit per se, um, as long as you finish it up. Um, if you fail, the meal is about $78. If you win, the meal is free, which is awesome. Um, I might actually try to double this. It is a lot of food, but I'm willing to shake things up. I wanna kinda pace myself or push myself just a tiny bit. So we're gonna try to maybe double this. It looks really delicious. What is special about this place is their wood fire tacos. Yes, they do wood fire tacos on over mesquite. Actually, like you can see their wood right there. So doing wood fire tacos, I'm super excited. I mean, we of course have all the favorites. You have pollo, you have lots of fish. Um, they have camarones, they have some shrimp. Of course, beef. Um, I'm so excited. This place smells delicious. I haven't had tacos or like real, like that kind of cuisine in so long. So I'm super excited. Let's head on in, get you some more info. Let's have some fun. Ultimately, let's eat some food. All right, everyone, so here we are with the Let's Taco About It challenges. So I actually doubled it. Um, here with my good friend, Mr. Greg. Greg Savage eating. He is a local eater, Austin area. So great to meet up with him again. We met up last year uh, at a pizza challenge in Plano, I believe Plano. it was. Plano. But hey, so excited to be here. This food looks absolutely fantastic. Um, but now, would you mind walking us through all the different kinds of tacos we have here? We have so many, they look so delicious. I'm so excited, so take it away. So uh, some of these tacos are uh, part of our wood fire tacos, which is what we're known for. Uh, we do with 100% mesquite wood. Um, and that would be your steak, chicken, and the vegetables. Steak, chicken, and vegetables. Yeah, and so here you have a mixture of all of them. Even the shrimp has the grilled veggies uh, as well. And then you also have the non-smoky options, which is the carnitas, brisket, um, marinated fish pastor, and then the special, uh, we're very popular taco, cheese tortilla. Cheese tortilla taco, so that's definitely interesting. Literally 100% cheese, there's no tortilla, so I have to give them that hit. Carbless, carbless taco. Keto friendly, I guess you could say. <laughs> well, that, that's awesome. This looks absolutely delicious. And you guys make your own salsas here. We have the elote. Yep. I'm ready. Greg, right. ready to eat? Oh, man, I'm strong. Thank you so much. So it looks absolutely delicious, so let's get started here just momentarily. All right, so we're both very hungry. It's been a, been a long time since we both ate, so Greg, ready to rock? I'm ready to rock. It looks really good. It does look really good. So how about we get started? We'll say at the count of five, four, Three, two, one. Let's eat. Mm. Mm. Very good. That is that wood fire chicken. Woo! That is fantastic. Hey everyone, welcome to this video. Today we're here at Dos Batos in Austin, Texas, taking on their Let's Talk About It challenge. So at that, well, let's talk about it. Let's talk about this challenge. Super moist, super juicy. A little bit of salsa on it. So for this challenge, you had a variety of tacos. We had 12, and then you had a serving of elote. We also each had their cups of salsa, but the salsa was optional and used as a condiment. The brisket is amazing. And this is the steak of parada. Damn, that is fire. As we mentioned, there's no actual time limit on this, just for it to be completed in one seating. And of course, like no bathroom breaks, etc. So, you know, the one seating. And then again, you did have the drink. Um, they made their own limeade there, which was absolutely delicious. Um, I also had like, for example, like a sweet tea, um, you know, so you get your drink of choice, but definitely if you go on by, definitely recommend trying their limeade. It is fantastic. I have never had a wood fire chocolate before, but I don't think I can go back. This is so good. I love anything cooked with like fire. And this is just fantastic. Salsas are really nice too. Spicy. A little picante. Mm -hmm. Here's some El Pastor. 
So what I loved so much about this challenge was the true variety of food. We had so many different tacos. You could have your tacos served on either corn or flour tortillas. They had the smoked meats. They had the seafood. They had, uh, it was just like, it was amazing. They have this green salsa, which is mass picante. Well, very good. They even made the tortillas in shop, which is absolutely like incredible. It was super impressive, and it really does show. The quality of all these items just came through and through, and seriously, these were some of the best tacos I've ever had. The smoked tacos were absolutely game-changing, and you need to try this place out. You need to come by Dos Batos if you were in Austin, Texas, or really anywhere, anywhere in the vicinity. All right, fish. So I did decide to double the challenge as we mentioned. Uh, so I had one tray of corn, one tray of flour tortillas, um, whereas Greg went with the flour tortillas. Um, but again, you do have your preference. I will say the staff here were absolutely amazing as well. It's a family run place and they were just so friendly. They were so proud of their food and they really do deliver an excellent, excellent product that I would recommend to anybody. The wood fire definitely gives a different taste. It's much very smoky, a smoky taco. I never thought I would say it, but it's a smoky taco. And I love smoky taco. First time, won't be the last. Seriously, you guys gotta try this. Like, complete game changer. I don't know if I'm ever gonna find a taco to top this. I think the challenge itself is also very reasonable. I would consider this like a beginner intermediate challenge. Um, I do think that they weighed probably about five to five, five and a half pounds, we'll say. I think it's But you do have unlimited time if you can eat that quantity of food. And then I will also mention though, these tacos are quite big. They aren't like your standard street taco. As you can see, they are definitely large. Um, they had a, you know, a good size to them. They had lots of toppings, lots of filling them. They didn't skimp on that, which I again, really appreciate. It was super impressed. And uh, you definitely get your value. And like I said, if you've never had a smoked taco or more specifically, a taco with wood cooked, like a wood fired taco, meat, you know, the meat in the taco being cooked over wood, it is a game changer. You gotta try it. They're really good. They got a shrimp on. One of the best challenges I've ever had. My favorite tacos I think are usually made with beef, but sometimes with pork. So what kind of meat is your favorite taco? Comment down below, let me know. I know some people really like the fish, sometimes chicken, but I think I'm with beef. Just over five minutes in, yeah. I'm thoroughly enjoying this. This is absolutely fantastic. Flavors are great. I might as well officially finish this challenge. I'm going to the next one, but so good. Here we got the all cheese taco. But everyone, I believe that's all the information I have for you today. I'll let you get to the rest of the video. Again, very delicious food. Definitely would recommend Dos Batos. Um, so yeah, stop on by, get yourself some food. And at that, let's tune on in. Let's see what happens and let's get to the rest of the video. Very cheesy, but very delicious. I just finish a drink. So I drink a water, I don't think that counts, so I'll finish this as well. This is my unsweet nice tea. Guys, if you're ever in Austin, you definitely need to come here. 100%. These tacos are out of this world. It's a lote. Mm. Oh Very good, a little spicy. Got tahini on it. So we're done the first one then.
there. That's 707, something like that. That was fantastic. I am so excited. I get to go through this all again. So, woo, let's get started. No, that was fire, absolutely fire. This I all went with the flour tortillas. Excuse me, these ones are all corn. But that was just phenomenal. And I'm gonna try to leave the, uh, the smoked or the wood-fired tacos for last this time, because those were, I, I, I honestly, those are my favorite. They were 10 out of 10. Greg is absolutely killing it. Well through his tacos, only got a couple left. So uh, yeah, let's keep on trucking. I'm so glad I got round two. This is like perfect. Oh, then I had to, I have a caramel for dessert. Made with goat's milk. No complaints here, that's for sure. make all their tortillas here, which is super impressive. And they taste amazing. Very, very, very soft. It's just like, I have no complaints at all. Greg, doing well? What's your favorite so far, Greg? I think so far the brisket. But we're on Texas, so I love brisket. Me too. Cows are delicious. That smell past door, very, very good. I'm so impressed how moist, juicy everything is. These tacos just slide right down. If I use barely any liquid, I said these tortillas are great. I, just, I can't ask for a better experience. Okay, guys, I got about one and a half tacos left. And is it El Latte? Elote. Yeah. Elote. A cup of elote, which looks really, really good. I've never had it mixed before. I read up a little bit about it. it sounds awesome. I think you're in for a treat. I like it a lot. Is that good? Yeah. <laughs> we are back. So those wood fired meats, oh my god, these tacos, man. This is the wood fired chicken, it is just. Oh my god. It's too good. Eat so many scraps in the last ones. It's all with cheese, guys. No flour, all with cheese. This is that wood fire beef. I had it. Honestly, I can eat way too many of these. And that's coming from a guy that just consumed, I don't know, 21 tacos? This is too damn good. I am like, game changer. My taco game has definitely been stepped up. Amazing. Hey guys, last one for me. For about 14 minutes, 20 seconds, Greg on his last taco, absolutely killing it. We just have some to left. How do you like the cheese one? That's interesting. It was good, right? It is good. I've never heard of such a thing, but yeah, I don't, I'd order it again. Totally agree. Any, any day. Salsas are great. Very delicious. 
The green one is pretty spicy, but it tastes great. Joel's mouth, well, I can fit one of those in it in one go, so. And these are big tacos. Mm -hmm. Very good tacos. Woo! Well, definitely a lot of food, but it's so damn good. I am so excited. I'm on to my last one here. Greg said it's a lote. I have my lote here as well. And uh, then we got our little carjetas, which aren't actually part of the challenge, but of course we gotta have dessert. All right, let's try this corn. It's good. That's real good. First time I have a lote, yeah? Yeah, because it tastes like corn. No, it's not, not the corn I'm just It's really good. It is really good. It's nice and savory. This is like a spicy mayonnaise. Often a low tab, but it's just kind of like a normal mayonnaise. I like this better. It has the heat on it, which is really nice. All right. Just our lote, both of us down in the lote. Or half cup. No, we got it. A little bit. That's good. Woo! Oh, no, you're good. So about 17, maybe 53 for Greg or 50. Congratulations, dude. Absolutely crushed it. I'm down my last couple bites here. Ooh, delicious. Very good. Everything. Ooh. I'm done myself. Maybe just over 18 minutes, something like that. Okay, like that was fantastic. I gotta say, those bad toes, they are. They, they, they got the taco game down. I am like, this is just, again, I've been all over. I've eaten a lot of tacos. I gotta say, the wood fire tacos are definitely game changing. You gotta try it. Both the beef, the chicken is just juicy, delicious. <coughs> excuse me, compliments to the chef. <coughs> oh, excuse me, Rick, big compliments to the chef. Just, that was an absolute game changer. Uh, Greg, any words? Uh, best tacos I've ever had. Yeah. Like, hands down, best tacos I've ever had. Was a surprise and happy that I got to come over here tonight. And thanks for coming out, man. Yeah, I, appreciate I, I that. would not miss it for the world. My wife actually said, "Hey, let me know how it is there." Definitely gonna bring it. Hey, well, you'll definitely have some new business coming. I like it. Greg's gonna be back. If ever I'm in Austin, I'm definitely coming back, and I seriously mean that. I'm adding this to my Joel approved restaurant list. Uh, the, I tell you, seriously, parada and the pollo parada. Just like you gotta try it. Absolutely delicious. I am excited to try my cajeta, my caramel here, made with goat's milk, and with, we have pecans in here as well. I always like dessert, so. Ooh! Oh yeah. Good? Good. Oh yeah. I think I'm good. Is that one as well? Yeah, it's already yeah. good. Very good. If you really get that like, really just sweet, soft, caramelly, that really nice brown sugar in there. I love it. I love it. Melt your mouth. Melt your mouth. Well, that'd be right. For that, we do get meals for free, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah, if you ever want to try it, you're in the area, definitely come on by. And even if you don't try the challenge, just come eat these dang tacos. They're just freaking 10 out of 10. No, please. Nobody else tried to eat 24. You don't need to. I did it, so you don't have to. But I tell you, just like 10 out of 10. Delicious. Would totally recommend. Um, so that, I want to give a huge thanks to the staff. Everybody here rocked. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much. Very I can't say enough. And uh, that's about that. So Greg, thank you for joining me. And that, everybody, till next time, say happy and hungry, happy eating, and uh, at that, have a lovely day.
Very good, guys. Not yeah. And here we are driving. Left Lubbock had some delicious food. This is called Post Texas. Why am I showing this? Because I thought it was pretty cool the place called Post. Yes, P-O-S-T, Post Texas. Note that dirty windshield, definitely a lot of bugs. But yeah, very beautiful little spot. Cute little quaint town. Definitely lots of cute little quaint towns, cute little things. Uh, actually some really nice scenery. Look over there, there's kind of a, uh, maybe we get a little view here. Got some big fields. There's some big cactuses over there. Big cactuses. Big fields, a little bit of desert-ish-ness. Um, but yeah, beautiful. Looks like there's some oil, oil country around here. I like it. Texas. Texas. And here we are at the Texas State Capitol. Some kind of protest going on. I'm not really sure what's going on. But I tried to come here last year, but it was locked down um, with all kind of protests and, and or just maybe COVID as well. But finally made it, which is pretty cool. So I'm very excited to kind of see some of the grounds. You know, there's multiple memorials and stuff. And anyway, I want to go do a little, little tour. Tour of the State Capitol. Apparently it's very, very beautiful and it's very large. There's no short, uh, doubt about that, no shortage. And, Lots of statues. So let us see the Texas State Capitol here in Austin, Texas. And here we are in the Capitol. Definitely uh, very big and expansive. We got the Lone Star, the Texas Lone Star. Apparently the star is eight feet, 218 feet high. That's crazy. Here we have some of the big stairwells. Very immaculate architecture, great detail, and no smoking food beverage in the state chamber right here. This is where they hold Senate. Very nice. Here we have the Battle of San Genito something. That's a very, very large painting. Like, that's a human, that's the painting. Cool. So it extends out, which is interesting. And here we have the house. Okay, come on up. And on the grounds we have a whole bunch of other uh, memorials and statues. Here we have the Texas African History Memorial, uh, reminiscing of the Emancipation Proclamation. Thank God. Also, we have, again, the beautiful scape of the building itself. Dang nabbit cat, you're gonna be down the menu next week if you don't shut up. So everybody, thanks so much for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed. Click my face right here to subscribe. And also I picked two videos. That's right, two videos just for you that you might like. Right here. So like I said guys, hit that subscribe, hit one of these videos, do it right now. Until next time, have a lovely day.